Namaskar, this is Manoj Joshi. I have the pleasure to talk to you about different aspects of yoga and Vedanta which can help us to pass through this critical time where the whole world is under the grip of the coronavirus pandemic. So let's talk about healing. So as we all know, healing is the holistic aspect of getting to the best version of our own self. Like whatever way the nature had made us to start with, you know, healthy body, healthy mind, good thoughts, good spirit, original condition. So restoring back to that original condition in the manufacturing world, they call OEM quality, like original equipment of manufacturing. So you have to restore back to that original quality. And that is different than curing. In the healing science, when we talk about different modalities of healing, usually we refer to curing as suppressing some symptoms that we have. Like for example, if you have fever, if you take some medicine to lower down the temperature, to suppress the temperature, that's curing. But doing the real investigation, the root cause analysis and finding out what exactly is causing this fever. Maybe there is an internal bleeding somewhere. Maybe there is some, some different things that's happening inside. So without understanding the complete aspects of why this particular problem has happened, we will be only doing a surficial, symptomatical or symptomatical curing. But healing refers to a holistic aspect of it. What refers to going to the root, doing the root cause analysis and finding out what is the root and then how we can take care of that. Like this reminds me of a story of a, a person who had uh, a well and a donkey. So it so happened that one day the donkey was just walking and accidentally it fell inside the well. So it tried many times, the farmer tried many times to bring that donkey out of it. But at some point of time, even the villagers suggested to him that like you can't take the donkey out and you can't use the water also. So now you would only one choice to fill that well with all the soil. So just kind of cover it up, make it unusable. So the farmers listening to all the villagers, they started dumping different buckets of soil or shovels of soil inside the well and the, the donkey was smart. The moment something will fall onto him, he will shake his body a little bit and then come up to the surface of the soil again. Again, they will pour more soil, the donkey will shake up a little bit, take off all the dust from its body and then again rise up. Again they will put few more buckets of soil without knowing what's happening inside. The donkey will shake off a little bit and then come up. So it went on for quite some time and suddenly the level of the soil became very closer to the ground and then the donkey came out. So this is the story that talks about no matter how much of this soil or the different problems that happens to our life, we have to learn how to shake off a little bit and then again come over that problem. So healing is something similar to that shaking off of something that you have acquired through different transactions that has happened, that you have interacted with different people, maybe you might have got some negative vibrations, negative vibes, you have gone to different places, maybe you have captured something, like right now we all know about that. You might have touched something, maybe there was a virus there, you might have been contaminated. Do you have to shake, maybe with some soap and water, maybe with some sanitizer. But shaking means getting out of the thing that might cause disease or sickness. So you have to learn how to shake off our physical body, shake off our mind, shake off our spirit to get out of different aspects of 
the problem creating substances sometimes physical sometimes emotional stuff that causes a lot of disease mental issues that cause disease emotional issues that cause disease so you have to learn how to shake off and sometimes you need different tools to shake off just like i talked about soap and water or different um, in um, masks say for example you want to shake off so many different ways we can learn how to use these tools and techniques to heal our body and mind and spirit in a holistic way in brief what are the different healing modalities and what actually healing comprises of likewise yogis talk about different chakra healing like there are different energy centers in our body like there is a base chakra root chakra there is a second chakra swadhisthan chakra there is a manipura chakra heart center the throat chakra the visuddhi uh, agya chakra in between the two eyebrows and the sahasrara chakra on the top of the head and all the different chakras or the energy centers have got different attributes they also draw the energy from different elements so different elements also can be healed that's called pancha mahabhut shuddhi kriya pancha mahabhut means we have earth element water element fire element air element and space element prithvi tattva jal tattva agni tattva vayu tattva and aakasha tattva so these are all the five elements which constantly coming into our body through every breath that we take it creating different kind of chemicals different hormones different parts of our body bones and flesh and different cells and tissues all the different things that we are made up of are constantly getting created so if there are impurities in those five elements then we need to do some healing work on them ayurveda talks about three dosha vata pitta and kapha so which are also derivative of different of these five elements the water and earth makes the kapha the heat makes the pitta and the air makes the vata different fruits different climates different places have got different attributes so naturally when you interact with the world different objects different people so all these elemental components of our body mind and spirit they get contaminated so from time to time we have to learn how to shake off those elements and take them out 